Oscar Piastri has quietly established himself as one of the most promising rookies in recent Formula One history. Despite his points tally not fully reflecting his performance, Piastri has consistently challenged Lando Norris throughout the season, showcasing impressive racecraft and improving qualifying prowess. His championship-winning background in Formula 3 and Formula 2 has undoubtedly fueled his F1 success. With McLaren's resurgence, it's only a matter of time before Piastri graces the podium and even clinches the top step. With his recent performances, it was only a matter of time before Piastri attracted the attention of a top-tier F1 team. No offence to McLaren, obviously. Well, where could Piastri's future lie? Oscar Piastri's racing journey began at a young age. His father, Chris Piastri, co-founded HP Tuners, a brand known for performance tuning chips for cars, hinting at a racing lineage. Oscar's earliest encounter with motorsports was in 2011, when he ventured into go-karting at the age of nine. His racing routes extended further as he competed at a national level in RC cars, showcasing his early dedication. In 2014, Piastri moved to the UK to pursue a more serious racing career, joining Ricky Flynn Motorsport, RFM. RFM, a renowned team, has contributed to the development of numerous F1 drivers, including Lando Norris and Joe Guan Yu. Although Piastri's results with RFM may not have shone brightly on paper, his potential was evident, with close finishes and notable performances. The F1 rookie's transition to car racing saw him participate in the F4 UAE Championship. Despite missing valuable testing time due to his commitment to karting, he showcased promise by securing impressive finishes, eventually finishing sixth overall. His journey continued to the F4 British Championship, where he secured second place overall, foreshadowing his imminent rise. Moving to Formula Renault in 2018, Piastri steadily improved, achieving three podiums in his first season. The subsequent year, he dominated the championship with seven wins, setting the stage for his transition to FIA F3 with Prima in 2020. Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, the Australian driver consistently performed well, securing podium finishes and eventually clinching the championship title. Piastri's entry into Formula 2 with Prima Racing in 2021 marked a turning point. Despite a challenging start in Bahrain, he quickly found his stride, securing podiums and even achieving back-to-back -back feature race wins. His performances were instrumental in helping him secure the Formula 2 championship title. However, Piastri's F1 journey faced a bump when Alpine didn't have a race seat for him, despite his championship win. Alpine's decision led to a dramatic sequence of events involving McLaren and Alpine. Ultimately, Piastri secured a race seat with McLaren for the 2023 season, a move that has proven to be wise as he continues to impress on the track. The widely publicised breakup between McLaren and Australian Daniel Ricciardo last year put Piastri under pressure right away because the Melbourne-born driver entered Formula One with a lot riding on him. Despite difficulties at the start of his first season with McLaren, Oscar's dependability and versatility showed out. He struggled at first, but he showed incredible fortitude and talent. Both former F1 winner Alan Jones and McLaren CEO Zach Brown have expressed their confidence in Piastri's potential to become a world champion. While McLaren is still working to perfect their vehicle, Brown is satisfied with Piastri's performance in his first campaign. We're really impressed with him. He's highly concentrated. He hasn't actually committed any significant errors, just your standard pushing of the boundaries, with the occasional wheel lock here and there. He hasn't raced on all of these circuits utilised thus far in 2023, but early signs point to a future world champion. Now all we need to do is get him a faster automobile," Brown remarked. The McLaren CEO stated that Piastri had shown maturity beyond his years in his early F1 career, and that he was enthusiastic about the partnership he is creating with Norris. Piastri's steady racing talent, ability to adapt to various cars, and lack of errors further highlight his promising future. His trajectory appears positive for the future. His talent and tenacity may enable him to win championships as McLaren's car performance keeps advancing. Due to the performance of the McLaren cars, his early F1 season has been slightly under the radar, but his greatness is still unquestionable. As everyone is aware, Formula One has always been a sport full of surprises. Due to Piastri's recent success, numerous top teams are now interested in him and offers will soon start coming in. The Milton Keynes-based Red Bull team is one of the titans advancing. Eddie Jordan, a former F1 team manager, 
has predicted that he will drive for Red Bull in the future. Piastri has acknowledged that he is flattered when analysts mention Red Bull, but he is happy to keep improving at McLaren. The quick rookie is having an outstanding debut season in Formula One, which included temporarily taking the lead in the sprint race at the Belgian Grand Prix. Both Piastri and Lando Norris can now compete at the top of the grid, thanks to improvements made by McLaren, with the former standing out in particular. His P4 and P5 finishes in Britain and Hungary respectively were effectively built upon as he finished second in the sprint on Saturday at spa Francorchamps. As expected, rumours about a potential transfer to Red Bull have now started to circulate thanks to remarks made by Jordan. Even though Red Bull might be interested in hiring Piastri, he is totally committed to performing at McLaren. It's flattering to have those comments, the Aussie told the media. I'm very happy where I am. But yeah, it's always nice to be talked about in those kinds of ways. I think my season's been quite good for the most part. I think there's definitely been some mistakes or moments I wish I could have had again. But with hindsight, it's very easy to say those kinds of things. So yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at driving-wise. There's still a lot to improve, a lot to learn. I've got a very strong teammate to learn from who, just by being a benchmark, is a big help for me getting back up to speed. So yeah, I'm happy where I am," he added. Piastri has been recommended by former team manager Jordan to join Verstappen at Red Bull because he is emerging as a driver to watch in the future. Managed by Mark Webber, a former Red Bull driver, the 75-year-old reckons that move could be just a matter of time and says Piastri could actually challenge Verstappen, unlike his current teammate Sergio Perez. I think there is big star quality in there. I'm actually blown away with this young kid, so he'd be one of the drivers I'd be looking at to challenge Max in the future. He's managed by my old partner, Mark Webber, and we saw how he got him into McLaren. Do not be surprised if there's a seat available at Red Bull, of course, where Mark used to be. Don't be surprised if he's named in front of the public eye in the future, Eddie told TalkSport. Jordan's rumours are not the only thing feeding the Piastri Red Bull rumours. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner acknowledged before the season started that he regrets not recruiting Piastri to their youth programme when he was only breaking into the sport. Prior to switching to McLaren, the Australian driver competed for the Arden team that Horner and his father Gary formed, although he ultimately won the Formula 3 and Formula 2 championships with Prima. There was an opportunity for Red Bull to look at him at the time, and we didn't take up that option, which is something that I regret, Horner told Formula 1's Beyond the Grid podcast last September. What he went on to achieve is phenomenal. In Formula 3 and Formula 2, you either sink or swim in this business. He's a very, very capable driver, so I'm sure he's going to do very well, Horner added. Even championship leader Max Verstappen praised Oscar's sprint podium performance. Verstappen was enthusiastic about the young Australian driver, saying his entry has been beneficial for the sport. Verstappen has now raced Piastri two weekends in a row. Yes, it's always good, Max told the media when asked about whether he enjoyed racing some fresh blood. I mean, I've been in that position as well where the younger guy comes in. It's nice and it's great, and Oscar's having a very strong season in general. But I think also, this weekend he has been really on it. So it's always nice to, for the first time, basically race him. The highly regarded Australian has paid back McLaren's faith in him after it went to considerable lengths to pry him away from Alpine last summer. Additionally, according to team principal Andrea Stella, the 2021 Formula 2 champion has had a beneficial influence on Norris. With 34 points, Piastri is now in 11th place in the Drivers' Championship, 13 points behind Lance Stroll and just one point behind Esteban Ocon. It remains to be seen whether the Australian rookie can be convinced to team up with the unbeatable Max at Red Bull. Do you think Piastri is destined for Red Bull greatness? Share your thoughts in the comments section. As the rumour mill churns, stay connected with us to stay updated on all the latest developments in the world of motorsports. Until next time, race on.